welcome back to the Vlogmas series for the week for weigh-in. We are getting down to the wire. We're only at about five days left before this challenge is over. And in this video, I am going to show you how I boosted my weight loss results for this week. There are actually two things that occurred. One of them was kind of out of my control. One of them was absolutely in my control. So if you want to hear about how these two methods interacted to boost my weight loss and get double the results that I did last week, yep, you heard me, double the results that I did last week, make sure that you stick around and hear the explanation. And also, I have five days left, you guys. We are getting down to the wire. If you could cheer me on, maybe leave a comment giving me some kind of encouragement. It could be something as easy as go or good luck or don't stop or exclamation marks or something in the comments, letting me know that you're behind me and that you're getting some kind of either value or entertainment from me doing the Vlogmas series. That will help me keep going to go and cross that final finish line. So let's get into the results. Okay, and here we are. So last week, I was at 173.8. I had seen a two pound weight loss for the week of week three, which is still really good. Two pounds in a week is still really good, but it was a little bit on the slow side. And so I decided that I might need to tweak things just a little bit to see if I could boost the result. And we sure did this week. I lost 4.2 pounds and I am now in the 60s. Guys, I'm so excited to be in the 60s. Now, if I step a toe out of line, I can go right back into the 70s and I totally understand that, but I'm gonna take whatever victory that I can. I also saw almost two inches where I measure, right? I don't measure everywhere, but I saw almost two inches of tape measurement loss in the midsection as well. And honestly, I think the picture speaks for itself by this point. I don't think I really need to point out how much the body is changing. I'm sure that you can see that. And now we are at less than four pounds until I reach my goal, but I only have five days to do it. But we're at a total loss of 14 pounds. Even if everything stopped right now, losing 14 pounds in December during the holidays would put me in a fantastic position in January to keep going and hit my ultimate goal, which honestly, I don't even have defined yet. Right now, all I can think about is the challenge goal. Once the challenge goal is hit, I will reintroduce what the next goal is. I'm thinking I want to try to lose 15% of my body weight because that's the buzz that you hear about the GLP-1 agonists or the magic injections that people are taking to lose weight. I don't use absolutely anything like that. I think those drugs should be reserved for people who are in type two diabetes and are struggling with that disease. To use it specifically for weight loss, I think there are better methods. I think there are methods that are more effective and I would love to teach you those methods. Case in point, it's been 28 days and I've lost 8% of my body weight in 28 days versus the up to 15% of your body weight in 68 weeks that is promised from the weight loss drugs that are so popular these days. So again, if you'd like to get faster results than semaglutide, if you'd like to get faster results than the GLP-1 agonist, if you don't like the idea of injecting junk into your body or potentially risking your digestive tract or paralyzing your stomach or immediate weight gain as soon as you stop taking that medication, please stick around or even better, sign up for my first metabolic challenge of 2024. It is happening January 2nd. It is only $17. You will be working with me live every single day through Facebook during that 10-day challenge, and you could lose up to 10 pounds or up to two inches or more off of your midsection in that 10-day period. So it's a great way to either jumpstart your weight loss, to test drive if metabolic issues are driving your weight problem, and real techniques and tactics that you can use to speed up the rate of your weight loss and reduce or reverse those conditions, potentially adding 10 to 15 years of your life. Okay, tactic number one that I did to boost my weight loss really had nothing to do with me or anything that I did. It has to do with what the body does with water as you burn body fat. So let me throw a picture up on the screen while I describe it so that you understand what I am talking about. In this picture, 
what we're doing is we're showing what the body is naturally going to do when you are burning body fat. So as fat first comes out of the fat cell, your body is initially going to put water into that fat cell as a place holder. The problem is most people are unaware that this is happening. The reason the body does this is because for all of human history, body fat is supposed to be the way we store energy that easily goes back and forth, meaning you're supposed to be able to easily burn it. You're supposed to be able to easily store it. So because it fluctuates so easily, the body's not going to waste a whole lot of extra time shrinking and expanding a fat cell every time there's a shift in its body fat. So as it burns fat and fat exits the fat cell to be used as energy, the body temporarily puts water in the fat cell because it's basically saying, hey, are you going to eat something in the next couple of days that's going to replace the fat that we burned? If so, I don't want to waste my time shrinking this fat cell, right? So it's doing it as a placeholder. If you do not put anything into the body that's going to be stored as fat, then over a certain amount of time, the body will realize that we're not gonna replace the fat that was burned. It's gonna flush that water and then it's gonna shrink the fat cell. The problem is water weighs more than fat by volume. So what the heck does that mean? That means I can have a cup of water and I can have a cup of body fat and they take up the same amount of room. But if I were to weigh them on the scale, the water is going to be heavier. So what happens is, as we burn away body fat and hold on to this little bit of extra water, both on the scale, in the tape measurement, and visually, we are going to look like we're going the wrong way. Check out the picture on the screen. We're either going to see the weight going sideways, or it goes up a couple pounds overnight. If this has ever happened to you, which I'm sure it has, you can understand how mentally that messes with you. Women tend to really react when the scale goes the wrong way, when they're working really hard to make a positive change. And so if we're working our tail off, we get on the scale and the weight went up two pounds overnight and I did everything right, then it's very easy to get off the scale, kind of have a breakdown and then sabotage myself by either going off the diet or eating my feelings, right? So the first reason that my fat loss was boosted was just simply because I stayed compliant, I stuck with the program, I understood that this situation goes on all the time. When I get on the scale, if I see a weight jump or hardly any movement or the weight goes sideways for a couple of days, the very first thing I ask myself is, am I doing everything the way I'm supposed to? Am I in the calorie deficit? Am I eating unprocessed foods, right? I'm trying to, I don't want to eat junky, ultra processed foods because that can cause water retention and inflammation, all kinds of issues. Am I eating the way I've designed for myself or someone's designed for me? Am I in the calorie deficit? Am I increasing my movement? Am I drinking my water? Am I focusing on my goals? Am I doing everything right? And if I am, then I have to understand it's just water. I'm not eating enough extra food to cause two pounds of fat accumulation. I'd have to eat 7,000 calories over what my body currently needs in order for that to happen. I'm not doing that. Therefore, it's water. And all I have to do is be compliant, stick with the program, stick with what I'm doing, have faith, and my body's going to flush that water. And that's exactly what it did between week three and week four. That is the first thing that I did. The second thing, the one that I said I absolutely had control of, is that I introduced a product that I use in my programs. It's not a nutraceutical. It is actually a supplement. It is specifically designed to assist with things like hunger, like cravings, like burning body fat. In my office, it's called Metabolize. That is the name of the product. And for the period of lockdowns, it has been incredibly hard for me to get from my developer. So I do have an extra bottle of it in my cupboard. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to just start using it. I really want to hit that 18 pound goal. And I'm just going to start adding it. Not to mention that Metabolize is the only supplement that I offer during the 10 day metabolic challenge. So even my private clients right now, if I have a private client that calls up and they're like, hey, I saw this video and I saw that you have Metabolize. I want to order some. I have to tell them no. So just so you know, private clients, the answer is no, you can't get it. You can't get it. The only way that you're going to be able to get metabolize is by doing the 10-day challenge and choosing the option of doing the 10-day challenge with 
the metabolized supplement. But that is the second reason that my body did so well is I waited until my body was really showing signs that it was adapting, that everything that I was doing was starting to slow down and wham, I added that little bit extra and I will be continuing to use metabolize for the remaining five days of the program. I'm super excited that I'm going to be finishing this up in five days. Uh, chances are the next update for the Vlogmas series I don't know if I'm going to do it like the morning of December 24th, but it will be on or around that time um, is when I'll be giving you the final update. I, I'm probably not going to do it on the 24th and the 25th because all of us will be busy with our families and busy celebrating and doing things. But on or around that time, I'm going to be showing you that final result and I'm excited for you to see it. And again, if you're getting value from what we're doing here and what I'm showing here for you, please make sure to let me know somehow whether you like the videos or, or subscribe to it. But at the very least, if you could leave me a comment, letting me know that you're cheering me on, letting me know that you want me to reach that goal so I can show you how to reach your health and weight goals. And I'll catch you guys in the next series. Bye-bye.